Hello everyone, welcome back to the fate of Aethar. Previously, the heroes of Wintervale left in search of Lore, the Witch in the Swamp. They make their way to just outside of Blackfield where they make camp. They were attacked by two hungry werewolves and end up prevailing in the end and killing them. You return back to your night of sleep. It's the following day and that's where we're going to pick up. Uh, it's still fairly early morning time. Oh, so we're still at uh, still at the camp. Mm -hmm. Apparently, uh, where uh, I think so. Uh, where uh, where did we leave off specifically? I don't believe we left yet. I think we had just. Mm, we, yeah, uh, I think no. we were just before leaving. Yeah, we stabbed the wolves, uh, and then I think. Yeah, we, we were like safe. getting up in the morning again. I think because yeah. I was fucking mad at wolves for waking me up, the bastards. <laughs> And so, Korn, or Hydrata is incredibly tired. I mean, Corn is too, but... <laughs> yes. That's Tony. As okay. I... I believe... Yeah, we left off. I just cast my uh, Greater Restoration, because I'm currently missing my fifth level for the day. So I'd used whoever... I, th I think it was... Hydrata was up one. So I yeah. used that on him. Yeah, and we uh, finished, Hydrata got... We just it. finished the rest, right? Uh -uh. Yeah. Okay, so we finished the rest, and I used my fifth. Just I would say because sure. you guys like finished off the werewolves and then finished up the rest. So. We have twelve days before we die of exhaustion. Well, one of you will die first, and the next one will die the next day. So yeah, at the very least we got that. One of us has eleven days. But um, at the very least, Moss. Uh, I guess like at towards the end of the morning, where usually it's him and Talia are the only ones awake because Talia is always mm -hmm. like awake towards the end uh mm. yep. just kind of uh, like just because uh, doing last watch together it's kind of like um talia yes if possible and he'll kind of like reach into his pouch and just kind of like jangle around uh that uh -huh. that coin that you got from uh the shop would it be possible if i could um uh, take it off your hands got a bit of an idea yeah. What what do do I get to know the idea first? If that is what is required for you to sell it to me. Yes. Uh so I seem to be developing a bit of some new tricks. Mm -hmm. But uh you know, you've kind of got the whole bow thing covered. Uh mm -hmm. and I, I, I put in a uh a commission for one, but I don't, I don't know, it's I think it's just going to be kind of a backup if I need it. But, mm -hmm. if I understand it correctly, I may be able to use that coin, and he'll reach into his uh, fancy little scabbard that he's got on his waist and flick out this very fancy plus one silver dagger. Uh -huh. be like, uh, I think uh, I have a bit of an idea, but I'll need that coin and uh, maybe a bit of Hadrada's help. See if he can figure this out. I'm going to see if oh. I can make a dagger that... I don't need to, like, keep getting new daggers. I can just keep throwing oh, this one. I see, I see. See if I can transfer the enchantment or just kind of, like, shove it into the dagger. I don't know. Make something work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh. she just hands it to him. It's like, just, just take it. Oh. oh, is this the coin of return thing? Yeah, the coin. I have yeet. written in as the coin of yeet and yoink. <laughs> the coin of yeet and yoink added to inventory. <laughs> What's the coin for actual thing? <laughs> That's what it's called. What do you mean actual name? That is its actual yeah, name. That's, that's what <laughs> yeah. saving. What's its it was birth name? Four, right, Mike, on the Creona statue? Do yes. Yeah, yeah, it was Perfect. A Beautiful, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, and then adding coin of yeet and yoink. Well, uh, <laughs> um, I of course. Take, take this yeet coin with care, and uh, I believe I'm going to see if I can get Hedrata working on this early in the morning. So, sounds That's good. It. I'm really excited yes. to see what you two do of this or make of this. He'll, he'll like take the coin and like flick it in the air and then like magically make it come back to his hand. It's like, <gasps> oh, that will be useful. And then, do, 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 downstairs. <laughs> okay. Just as just you downstairs and I am laid up against the wall, barely trying to keep away. <laughs> good morning, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not feeling breakfast again, are we? Ugh, I wish. A pile of 20 good berries appear on your stomach. Oh well, I'll pick oh. it just a... Thank just you. Remember, no more than one. 
Oh, they look so good. Uh, they are very good, but your stomach will explode. <laughs> Fair point. I eat one good berry. I wonder if they and, make uh, good berry wine. Ooh. <laughs> You'd only be able to take it in shots. <laughs> you one shot, you're <laughs> fucked for the night. Yeah. That'd be great. Oh, I need that. Uh, I'll offer a good berry to Hydrada as well, who I assume is also quite groggy. Um, Hydrada will take a good berry. As you take a good berry, Moss will kind of take the knife and take the coin out. And Stab Hydrada. <laughs> Stab Hydrada. Not yet. We're working on it. Um, <laughs> Not yet. There. And he sits there and he's like flipping the dagger in his hand and looking at the coin and flicking the coin. Hadrada, I know you're uh, working on your art skills lately for whatever reason, but uh, I have a bit of a request, something I'd like you to try. Hadrada says, yeah, what is it? He just kind of takes the knife and takes the coin and then like mashes them together. Ting, ting, ting. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. I try not to fuck them up and tosses them to you. Uh, can I make an arcana check real quick uh, for the purpose of seeing whether or not um, uh, seeing whether or not melting down the coin and melting down the silver and combining them uh, to make a like to make like a combined element sort of like a a composite you know, yeah or an element um, sorry uh, well, yeah a, a soft, uh, would wavy make the coin the lose its magical and properties. Hear Moss say the last sentence he said. Try not to destroy them. Sure. Uh, <laughs> roll uh, Arcana. Can I That'll just... be a fourteen. That's gonna be on disadvantage as well. Oh yeah, disadvantage. Your, uh, you still have uh, GM those on. Yeah, I do. So uh, uh, you don't really know. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell. Can I ask, as Moss throws the dagger and coin at Hadrada, does the coin come back? <laughs> Just fly back to my hand. <laughs> um, I would say that it'd have to be like a willing sort of thing. Like Moss would <laughs> want it to come back to his hand. If that makes sense. Uh, by the way, question. Is he like giving these to me until I... um? Like combine them, or is he just? He, um... It's up to he. He's just wanting you to take a look at them for now. If you want to hold on to them or whatever. Just okay. Them. Um, I will uh, take them and then look at them and say, I could probably fashion something. Oh my god! I just had the best idea. Okay. Well. Um. And then I hand it back. Well, you've got some ideas, but like, uh, you think you could just kind of like, for now, like attach it and see if that would work. Uh, yeah. Um, and I guess I'll take out, um, my, uh, uh, I don't think I have anything that can attach it. <laughs> you got some tinkerer's tools, right? Something yes, like but I don't have any fire. <laughs> Who are you speaking to? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, I'll say, uh, um... So basically, how big is this coin? Would you say it's about pommel size? Yeah, I mean, the coin itself. Have you ever seen a silver dollar? Uh, yes, it's about I think. That, it's about that size. Okay, yeah, that would probably work then. Uh, I'm going to ask... Like, uh, uh, like as, about as big, maybe a little bit smaller than like the top of a circular soda can. Like maybe a little mm -hmm. bit smaller than that. Let me, uh, let me give you a bit of a boost there, and, uh, Moss will, like, kind of, like, pat you on the back, yeah, like, having given you the, uh, the uh, Greater Restoration earlier, doesn't have anything big, but at the very least he can cancel out that, uh, that disadvantage roll, and he will give you, which one is it, um, Fox is Cunning, I guess, because I'm assuming it'd be an intelligence, either, what would it be, intelligence or dex to put it together? Uh, Tinker's Tools is a query. Uh, Smith's so tools is strength. Mike. Yeah. Um, to well, yeah, I'm, I'm saying that for Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to put it together, I'd probably say, depending on how you do it, you could do it with your Smith tools. Um, I'd probably use it with my Tinker's tools. Um, no, or actually, no. I would, guess I'd use some, And that would probably uh, work as well, too. If you're going for more of like a finesse sort of thing. You could definitely so use, like, dex. your tinkers tools instead of, you know, 
uh, brute force of like the forge. Yeah. Um. And I will give Hadrada a catch grace. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll try and finesse them together then. Okay. So go ahead and roll finesse. with your uh, tinkerer's tools. Okay. Not at disadvantage, just a single roll. Yeah, yeah, just a single roll. Fifteen. Okay. And you're basically trying to fashion it into the pommel somehow. Yeah, and attach it uh, to like so like basically just take the coin and like melt it onto the hilt of the knife. Not like completely melt it, but like fuse it. Weld it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's a lot different than melting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I like super tight flame coming out of my finger, helping you as you're like using my finger as a soldering iron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's basically sort of what I imagined, either holding it in place with uh, like flux, kind of weaker metal, you know, something like uh, aluminum or um, like a lighter metal, I guess, that melts easier. Mm -hmm. But uh, does it work? Yes. Yes, it works it seems hey! like it's it seems yeah. like it's set in fairly decently it might need a couple of touch-ups here and there down the road but moss kind of like looks in a bit of amazement at hydrata mm -hmm. for like a first time doing something like that yeah it looks pretty good and hydrata is just like just gives him like a salute like the two finger salute yeah, the, the super casual, like, yeah, I do that shit all the time. Cocky. Yeah. Me. Oh, it's great. I was imagining, like, a, a full, like, regiment solo. Uh, <laughs> I was really confused Moss, for a second. Moss nods in a kind of non, not really thinking about it, but just repeating your gesture, and then be like, can I? And he, like, holds out his hand. And hey, uh, her... Trotta puts his hand on your hand. The knife. <laughs> oh, and he puts the knife in your hand. Thank death. <laughs> and I sweep Hadrada off his feet. No. Uh, I'll, I'll take and I body slam Hadrada. And uh, does uh, so does the dagger require attunement now? Is that something that happens? Uh, yes, yeah, so it would re uh, require attunement. Okay, so I will take off my bracers of the hero. Okay. And. Uh, I'll, get, I'll add that to my inventory now, and I will uh, take the morning, if it's okay, as we all just kind of, like, rise and get there to uh, attune to my plus one silvered dagger of returning. Is that is that what we're calling it? Silver dagger of Eden, yoink! You can call it whatever you want. It's, uh, it's your weapon. Alright, all right. cool. The dagger of Eden, yoink! You, uh, uh, you'll see. You'll see when I build the macro. You Is that an like, open world? You took like two fairly mundane objects and put them together to create your own thing, so I think it's only right that you name it. Hardrada did that, but okay. No, well, just kidding. Whoever, <laughs> whoever, <laughs> it's a team effort, I'm just joking, man. I'm just joking. I watched, okay? <laughs> I was like there. The Hadrada Moss dagger of eat and come back. Hardross. We're not creating ship names. No. This is <laughs> no. Cool. no. Uh, but Moss will kind of like take the dagger and uh, after taking the time to attune with it, just kind of like flip it in his hand and then just kind of like testing to see how it works mechanically, throw the knife. And what does it just like come back at the end of the turn? How does that work mechanically? So it's just like I throw and it comes back. So it would be uh, like. Range-wise, it'd be like a standard ranged weapon, like a hand. Yeah, I assumed throw. as much as the same throwing knife, yeah, 2060. Um, it would stab in, and at the start of your next turn, come back to your hand. Oh, yes! Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. So just at the end of dagger of... So you would, like, throw I'm it as your action, now. and then it would go do its damage stay there until the start the... of your next turn and then it would come back and then it comes back as the free and then i still have my action and bonus to cast and do shit mm -hmm. perfect thank you sir right, i can just imagine like how cool that would be like you throw the dagger and like stabs in and then next turn you pull it back out and then like stab him with another thing magnets how do they work <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dagger of Magnets. There it is. There's the name. Dagnets.
Dagnets. No. <laughs> Dagnets. Just tape Dagnets. a bunch of magnets to the uh, end of the blade. And then have no, other the, 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 coin, the coin is the first magnetic metal ever discovered, and Moss has a neodymium magnet in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that strong. You are made of metal. Oh, yeah. Your turn. It's true. Every Magic time you metal. try and use it, it's like that scene in Robots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't spell beginning. There it is. Magnets, I can't spell magnets either. Beautiful. Um, Alright, and now I have to put that... Okay, uh, I'm good. That's all I needed. <laughs> Sick-ass magic item. Dope. <laughs> oh. um, so yeah, uh, what are the rest of you doing? Are you packing up and getting ready to head into Blackfield? I mean, we're heading to Blackfield, I think. Are we? Uh, oh, so we're looking... Well, if I'm honest with you, I'm not quite sure where this witch is. He just said it was around the swamps. Okay, that's true. Then we should probably go. Actually, we still we all, uh, we know some people in Blackfield, so that's up there. Well, and checking out the situation there would, would probably not be a good idea. And she's probably part of the local folklore. I am assuming. Well, hopefully <clears throat> we'll just be able to spot some huts on the fly in, but. Yeah. We're in a swamp. I don't imagine it's that hard to find any kind of settlement or civilization here, right? Well, at the very least, I know there's nothing within three miles. I checked this morning. Yeah. yeah. Well, then we'll fly at three miles. I would say least. for sure, you know, like, there's nothing within, like, a three-mile radius. But that's kind of all you really know for sure. You could go, you know, six miles in one direction, you know, and find something. But... Yeah, so, uh, well, we got plenty of ground to cover, so, uh, at the very least. Uh, do you know of a, a town, at the very least, that we could go in the right direction towards? Other than, uh, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, By no. the way, guys, um, I am going to need a dozen glass eyes. I'm sorry, what? A dozen glass eyes. Okay, no, just making sure I heard you. What the fuck? Um, it's for a spell. But we were just I'll, in a I'll see city. what I can do. <laughs> if I come across any glass-eyed bandits, I'll be sure to keep them, I guess. <laughs> are we already past the birth? We are, right? Um, I think we're too far south, right? Yeah, uh, you guys are already past there. Yeah. Could uh, you maybe pull up the map so we can see where we are? You can pull uh, it's, it's in... Yeah, it's in our... Yeah, so we're still like the audience. Yeah, uh, we have, we are. Yeah, we have oh, a thing yeah, where we are at the moment. I think we were rather close to Lemurth, but uh, still. We I thought we were a bit south of Lemurth. Yeah, no, we're like yeah. at the top by the top, the first trees. Let me like, yeah. Um, we're like at the past Lost Peaks. Like halfway between Lemurth and Blackfield. A little more towards Blackfield, I think. Hmm. A lot of swamp. Um, no, yeah, I don't think there's anyone. There's, like, the really old, hold on, in, is it in World War? There's, like, the, the old Blackfield maps? Yeah. No. I mean, like, the, yeah, yeah. here are. Yeah, they should be at the top. Yeah, found them. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I wanted to see if there's any kind of, like, places we could stop. I didn't mean we could stop. We had to stop at a town. I just meant like, well, if I'm also saying, like, yeah, yeah, just There's saying, like, camp I thing. will need it eventually, or not eventually. I won't need it. I just want it. So here's a question with spell casting. So if you don't have the spell slot, but you can ritual cast it, can you still cast it? I think so. Yeah, because it says it doesn't expend a spell slot, so you don't need one to cast it. It just takes more time to cast it. Yeah, yeah, it's the ten minutes, but... Ah, right, yeah, oh yeah. Like you have to be able to settle down. Are there any ritually cast, um, combat spells? No. That would be stupid! That literally doesn't <laughs> function. You wouldn't be able to sit for 60 rounds. There's a hundred rounds. sit there drawing circles for 60 rounds. <laughs> hundred rounds. Yeah. Round six. A hundred rounds. So... Yeah, I don't think there's any, like, reasonably friendly settlement we can stop at. No, not at all. 
There's an old campsite, but well, we don't we don't know anything more about that other than it's old and a campsite. I mean, I guess if we wanted to, uh, I wouldn't be able to like keep checking because I can't really check while I'm a giant bird. But we could just every every couple of miles, I sit down, take ten minutes, and check and see if there's any buildings nearby. Yeah, take a bit longer. That's possible. Maybe we could just see it from the like sky that. as well. Well, that'd be the hope, but like I said, a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, fair. fair. I mean, mm. if it's there and you can see it with the eye, I will see it. So, oh, are we going to play, are we play it by ear? Play it by ear? Oh, by eye, more accurately. How, uh, how long does enhance ability last? Uh, up to an hour. So that'd be good. So just an hour of scanning with advantage. Yeah, I'll do that. It is concentration, so however. I can maintain concentration while wild shape, though. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and pop uh, enhance ability on myself before I wild shape into the Quetzalcoatl. And give myself uh, Owl's Wisdom for advantage on uh, wisdom checks, so perception. Okay. And I will take off, go as high as I can, and get like as good of an overview as of much of the swamp as possible, and try to do uh, a scan over everything uh, and see if I can make anything out. Okay. Um, what direction did you say you were going? Uh, for now, up. I'm just trying to see if I can see anything from where we are, like on the outskirts. Well, so okay. I know there's nothing um, for three miles, so I'll go three miles in and then go up. Three miles. So just like in going just deep. So like if we're we're here, right? Uh huh. So I just go here, wherever, however deep three miles is. Yeah. Like here, so just like continuing I, in the same direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just like going towards Blackfield, I guess. Well, no. So not Blackfield. However, so the swamp is all of this, right? Uh, that. Plus, this, that's an incomplete map. Um, this would be to the east of it, or the west of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. North, east, south, west. Okay, so in all of this is swamp too? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like there's more this way than there is down. Mm. But that, so looking, if I fly up, which looks like the bigger area, this area to the west or the area to the south? Uh, the one to the west, probably. The west is bigger, so I'll check south first, because it's smaller, I'll be able to cover it faster. Ah, oh, I swear I remember. Hmm. Something about where this witch was now. From, like, way back when. I feel like... I feel like it's, like, something I've made up in my head. But, like... <laughs> I swear there's a detail about where it is on, like, one of these maps. I'm like trying to piece together, but I just can't because it was like, like a year ago. Ruins, maybe. Have you guys been there? That because there's the like two huts on the other map cool. that aren't labeled, and we got like a little bit of lore about one of them. He he did say that the the other map was smaller, so that that is the one I would like to go over because I think that's the one I can cover more of. I only have an hour of advantage, okay. so however many checks I can get off in an hour, I would like to do. Yeah. Because okay. I remember passing that road on the way to the graveyard. Okay, so... Uh, high in the sky and flying, looking around, you see uh, the graveyard, which is just south of the party's current location. And to the west. Uh, so you would fly by that, and you would see Blackfield in the distance as well. Uh, farther to the southwest. Before I make any rolls, does my 22 passive pick up anything, just like in the surrounding area? Just anything that stands out to me, like in the trees, any big movement, any buildings other than Blackfield that I can make out? I, see on, the I see on the map here, there's a little building here. Yeah. I don't know if I can see that. Um, yeah, I would say that you would probably pick that up. Um, that seems to be like a small abandoned hut at the edge of uh, the forest and a field, like a fruit tree mm. field. Not very swampy. Mm, no, not really. Not very evilly. This is vibe. more. This is kind of more where like crops would grow. All right, yeah, fuck that. Not not that one. Okay. So do can I make out this one? 
Uh, yeah, this just kind of looks like a like a work shed or a barn for this particular okay. like fielded area. All right, if that's all my passive is picking up, I will go a bit deeper so it's down in this area, and uh, being a little more active in my searching, uh, I would like to scan and see if I can make out anything. Okay. Uh, so yeah, looking around this area, you do see black fuel, and uh, far to the south of uh, where it's at. Uh, past where the the uh, apple orchards are, uh, there's a large windmill uh, sitting up on a hill. And any weird vibes from the windmill, or is it just a windmill? Um, a bit of weird vibes, maybe. But can I get a little closer and check it out? Can maybe give it like a good old, good old, like good look over. Do like a lap around it before my uh, at least before my hour runs out. Sure. Uh, so flying around, um, you see that it's pretty, it's pretty shambled. It's, it's not in very good condition. It hasn't been maintained. Um, you see one body of some kind of a winged creature lying on the ground. Can I make out what the creature was? Good memories. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does it have a head? Uh, roll a, a nature check. Nature check. Uh, intelligence, damn, not wisdom. I say good memories, maybe not for me entirely. Yeah. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Um, and no, you, but it, it looks pretty abandoned. Not like no one's been there for a little bit, it seems. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone's occupied All right. this area. All right. So, do if, if do I feel confident that I've combed over everything in this kind of general vicinity and there's nothing really here? I would say so, yeah. Yeah, okay, then I'll move over towards that western side of the map. Okay. Uh, how much of that hour do I have left? I'd say maybe 20 minutes, 15 minutes. 20 minutes. So if that's the case, I will get as deep as possible as I can and do one last check and cover, like, basically. So, like, I haven't seen any of this yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get as close to the center, as high up, and try to just, like, big scan, see anything out there, get, like, a general vibe check on just, like, all of these as much of them as i can would be the goal okay um, since I'm, I'm about to run out of time okay so yeah roll a perception yes sir with advantage thanks to my good old spell enhance ability um, perception check can i also ask um as we're flying over blackfield hmm. uh is there any kind of notable changes about it is everyone's favorite blacksmith still there uh, just simply flying above it, it it's hard to tell. <laughs> yeah. Does it look like a functioning city, or does it look ruined? It doesn't I mean, look great, but from what you see, it seems like there's people, like, out, still moving. out in the okay. markets and stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a luck roll on that, too, just just in case he's... So one more, one more perception just to see if I can get better. 26 for that perception roll. Okay. Um, so looking around uh, and getting out to as close to the middle as you can, uh, you do see a large, uh, like, ruined watchtower to the north of you. And kind of scanning, going west, you see kind of a, a drier looking open spot between all the trees and all the, the water areas. And uh, you spy kind of like a like an old firing like in the area and it's very flat it seems like maybe where the old campsite might be hmm. um looking to the southwest yeah southwest uh you see a very odd structure it's made from from a carved stone it looks like hmm. and it stands very tall over the trees and it seems to have some kind of uh, like a lens apparatus at the top of it. Can I? Uh, mm -hmm. it'll, I'll get a little closer to that one. Get a closer look at that one. I'm assuming the hours out, but at the very least, I'm still pretty pretty good at looking at things, mm -hmm. even without a magical enhancement. <laughs> um. So, the building itself it seems to be made of uh, uh, three large columns sticking up out of the ground. And it has a uh, stone staircase 
uh, that spirals kind of around the entire structure. And at the top, there is a very large flat pedestal looking uh, apparatus on top. And there seems to be like a brass holder for a big lens. And there are just multiple lenses of different sizes that like come off the end of it. And it seems like it telescopes out. Moss kind of like has a bit of an existential crisis seeing m multiple lenses of different sizes and shapes moving. <laughs> Not moving, but it's kind of like thinking. If he had his eyes, he would be touching his face, but he's a bird, so all he can do is, ah! Um, and they're um, set yes. up in almost like um, like an orbital manner. Like certain Ooh. lenses of different sizes can, you know, be moved around and made into different combinations. Oh, fuck yeah. Ooh. Um, Does it look like there's been anyone there recently, Does it, or does it look fairly abandoned? Uh... Or like it Somewhere looks fairly abandoned, yeah. Fairly abandoned? Okay. No weird vibes other than just, like, cool thing to look at for now? Yeah, um, as far as you can tell, you don't see any, like, smoke from a campfire or... No, no black aura emanating from it ominously? No. <laughs> uh -uh. Damn. Uh, at okay. that, is there any smoke from a campfire we can see? Uh, roll a perception. Can I roll the perception check, please? Having that idea, Tony would like to message Moss. <laughs> be like, hey, you look for that. So uh, I'll, I'll message Moss. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind um, that, though. Campfire. Uh, yeah, I'll... Yes, cover the left, I'll cover the right. I'll squint my eyes and look out over the horizon looking for campfires. Can I <laughs> have assistance from Tony on this perception check? Um, how? In, I'm also in, looking. In looking right. Okay. Um, sure. Yes. Twenty. Oh wait, no. Advantage. Twenty-five. Yes. Twenty-five. Okay. Um. So looking around, you do see to the south east, um, a billow of smoke coming out of a smaller-looking abandoned hut. Is that like more over here or more over here? Uh, that would be over here. Ah. Uh, Hunter's hut. Uh, at a sign of life that I assume Tony points out of Moscow. <sighs> Slowly veer and start to uh, fly in towards the uh, the hunter's hut. Uh, not stealthily, obviously, because he's a giant metal shining bird. Uh, in fact, as he gets a little bit closer, he will let out like a, um, almost, not quite a warning, but like a, just like a, hey, I'm here. Ah! Hmm. And as he flies in and lands a safe distance from the house, or from the smoke, rather, wherever the smoke may be coming from. They like around here. Uh, Walking or, distance, or but visible yeah. confirmation. Okay. So, yeah, um, I would say that you get, like, a good distance away. It's still, like, a walkable distance, but you're not, you know, pulling right up into the front yard. Wonderful. Moss will kind of look around the, like, land and let everyone off. He does not, like, take everyone off. I get off. Okay. Um, yeah, and you get off and start heading over towards uh, this rundown looking hut. Moss will stay in bird form for now. Just kind of follow at the back of the group in a very big, clunky form. I <laughs> assume I am translating one. <laughs> <laughs> um, looking at the hut itself, it looks uh, really really old and uh, waterlogged. Uh, the Ugh. wood is swollen and rotted from uh, the constant moisture that, you know, it's kind of everywhere around the swamp. And uh, uh, Is the door closed? Uh, it is, but it's also uh, off one of its hinges. Oh. Can I see any movement or anyone inside the building? Uh, roll a perception. That's a... Uh, 18. Ugh. Um, no, you don't see any movement from the inside. Moss gives Tony a reassuring nod. Hmm. The windows look, like, pretty dusty and grimy, too. I'm wary of werewolves. And there was mm. also, remember, there was also a guy that was uh, looking for the hole in caves uh, in order to find those werewolves, so... Yeah, those are suspiciously close. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, this doesn't look like a cave to me. No, yeah, the Howling Caves are quite close, though. That's what I'm saying. I know, but, like, yeah. If, if werewolves got hungry, this is a, a reasonably close meal, is what I'm worried about. Uh, no, and there, there were one. werewolves last night. We do know that because we were attacked by them. Um, so, do we knock on the door, or...? Moss will just let out a very loud... <laughs> ...and announce the party's <laughs> presence outside. Hmm. I will slowly and calmly uh, do you move the door from the door for if it's like if it's, is it attached? It's still. I'll attached. open the door. It's yeah. still attached, but it's off one of the hinges, so you'd have to like pick it up as you yeah. push in. <laughs> yeah, you gotta like take the weight off so it moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, and as you do, uh, roll investigation. All of us, or just Tony? Just Tony. Okay. Eight. I rolled that to you. I got an eight. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, you don't really notice anything off as you first mm. walk into the door. So. Nothing dangerous. Not that you can see now. It's um, no. as you walk in though. It's really like dusty in here. You can see the dust kind of hanging in the air. I'll do the hesitant but like back and fall with the group to follow me. Moss just kind of looks at his giant form. <laughs> you can like crane your head in through the doorway afterwards. He'll do like the, <laughs> the fucking Jurassic Park T-Rex eye look in through the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like, do, can I do like a quick yeah, can I get like a quick scan of the room? Is, can I tell what kind of like what, what kind of person was living here based off the things that are around? Uh, sure. Uh, what, roll, what check uh, is that? Investigation. Investigation. Sad about it. 12. Not bad. Okay. Um, you do see uh, some bear traps that are hanging on the wall and uh, a bow and arrow that is on the, the floor. Uh, looking around, though, this, this hut is very... Uh, it seems like it's been tossed by someone. They're, like, everything is, like, knocked to the ground. Uh, bookcases are, like, turned over. There's, like, books laying everywhere. Um, tables, like, turned upside down. Uh, chair, like, wooden chairs that have just been, like, broken in half and, you know, thrown across the room. And I didn't notice this. <laughs> Moss just... And then clank, clank, clank as he knocks his head. I message Moss. Hello, big bird. Don't call me that. <laughs> Alright, Big Bird, what's up? I'm not responding until you call me my name. Okay. Moss. Thank you, sir. Um, it seems that uh, whoever was living here uh, either A, wasn't home and got their shit tossed, or was home, got their shit kicked in, and then got their shit tossed. Hmm. Um, yeah. If I come out... Uh, oh, wait, nope, don't have that spell today. Had to... Help you guys. Um, I could check and see if there's anything else near here, but uh, only within three miles. Mm. I'd have to pop out. I think it might be useful just for the if you just took like the the aerial view, even. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then Moss will just to make sure we're not being here. like if there is anything suspicious nearby, because this place was tossed like semi recently, maybe head to toe. Yeah. Mm. Moss will take a couple steps back and just like a straight up and do like a quick scan around like the immediate vicinity see if he can make out any people creatures things okay uh, things roll, that seem out uh, of place for forest roll another investigation investigation sad about it no. <laughs> 17 oh we stand zero high zero plus rolls <laughs> okay um so a little ways southwest from uh, the the hut, you hear somebody uh, yelling, "Help! Help!" Sorry, coughing a bit. A uh, moss will swoop in towards the source of the sound. Try to get like an overhead view, not go to it, but like go over it. Okay. Um, flying over, you see that there is a very small humanoid who is almost wrapped up entirely by vines 
and is currently suspended about 12 feet off the ground from uh, these vines like coming out of uh, a series of old trees. Uh, uh, Moss will immediately nosedive down. Uh, okay. I guess uh, there's two things I can do here. Uh, fuck it. Um, I will get close enough. He says he's like 12 feet off the ground. Uh, yes. Does he look really fucked up? Uh, he doesn't look good. Uh, the vines have thorns, so he's pretty... Does like... he look like he'll survive a fall? Probably, yeah. Okay, Moss will land, shift out of giant bird form, go back to Moss, point up, and be like, I've literally waited my entire life for this, and will cast <laughs> a blight at the magical plants. Okay. Uh, ping that for me. Oh, you did. Thank you. Already ahead of it, boss man. If you target, if you target a plant, creature, or a magical plant, and it makes the saving throw with disadvantage, and the spell deals maximum damage to it. Okay. So yeah, let me roll a Constitution save. If roll twenty will load. If the plant is not magical, it doesn't make a saving throw. It just dies. I assume it's magical if he's tangled up in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if. Finally. A druid against plants. I'm here. I <laughs> calling. I live for this. <laughs> uh, four. Uh, no. So it takes 64 damage. Okay, uh, and it dies immediately and lets go. As he falls, I was like, sorry about that, and I'll toss out a, a healing word <laughs> as he falls. And he says, oh, uh, thank you, thank you. I, uh... Give him 1d4 plus 4. I thought I was... I thought I was dead there. Well, lucky for you, I uh, seem to be nearby, friend. He gets 8 health back. Max healing. Good good man, good man. Nice. And he says, uh... My name is, uh, Torvin. Ah, Torvin. Nice to meet you. My name is Machina Silvon. Ah, nice. Friends call me Monster nice to meet Sil. you. Make it up. I, uh... I'm an artifact hunter. I, I'm out here looking for magical trinkets and got uh, tangled up in these very nasty vines. Uh, speaking of, in Moss will kind of turn and look up. Uh, do these seem to be like created by someone or are they just like magical to this area? Uh, they seem like sentient vines. Sentient vines. That isn't normal for this area, right? It's like Moss knows a lot about plants. I don't know a lot about plants or the area, so. Uh, roll a nature check. Nature check. That one. Wow. Oh, uh, yikes. You don't really know. Uh, it oh, seems... Yeah, it these seems... things are all over the place in the Feywild. Must be all over the place here. Weird. And he I says, well, I don't know. The uh, This place has changed a lot in the last 20 years or so. It uh, doesn't look the same as when I was younger. Uh, I'm, oh, so you say he's a small humanoid. Can I make out what he is now that he's close up? Uh, yeah, roll a perception. Perception, what's that? 31. Uh, he seems to be a halfling. Halfling. Uh, about how old is he? Uh, probably 28, 29. Is that... How do halflings age? Are they... Are I they, think it's the normal? same rate as humans. Humans? Hell yeah. 28. Are perfect. Ah, oh, so you've been here most your life then. And he says, yeah, it didn't really start getting too bad until about 10 years ago, but... Let me ask you something, young blood. Uh, what do you know of a, a witch in this near this swamp called Loray? And he says, oh, the, the witch, um... Oh, well... perfect. Hold on. Hold that thought. Come with me. And Moss will, like, put his hand on his shoulder and start walking him back towards the hunter's hut and the rest of the party. Okay. Assuming that they just kind of saw Moss swim, or let swim, fly, <laughs> and then dive, and then not say anything. We, we're it's, in the hut, to be fair. Oh, is this considered kidnapping? Is Moss kidnapping someone? Is, no. No, he's going willing. He just saved a man's okay. life and is asking him to follow him. And um, you guys get to the hut. And he kind of looks around and says, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you guys staying in here? Uh, we're not staying. Uh, oh, just hello. Came by. Uh, Hi. No, these are my friends. And he says, Hello. Hi. Um, hello. 
You're not shy in the company of death, huh? Uh, no, sorry. He kind of just looks at himself and then looks <laughs> at him. I really want to do something stupid. <laughs> Don't. Do Moss not. sees the look on Hadrada's face and just shakes his head no. I ask the halfling to elaborate. He says, uh, ah, I, um, I guess you haven't found the bodies yet. Sorry? Bodies? Well, yeah. Yeah. You haven't been down to the basement at all? Basement? Mm, yeah. Basement? Yeah, we'll stay out of there. There's a whole you what heap and lot of death them. down there. <laughs> Surprise, you have been down to the basement. Death in the form of what, exactly? How would you know? You've piqued my interest. And he says, well, I've been all over these swamps. I uh, collect artifacts, so I go to most places. Same people Breaking the most houses. Says, hey, mm -hmm. Although, to be fair, we are. I've never stolen a thing in my life. No, no, no. Only Rich words from an artifact. Discovery is not a theft. <laughs> never, never. I mean, there's okay. always okay, others to I steal believe from him. you. Anyway, so uh, uh, death in the basement in the form of what exactly? And he says, oh yeah, it's uh, it's pretty tragic. About maybe a year or so ago, one of the uh, hunters from the area, he was out hunting wolves or werewolves or something. <sighs> and uh, well, I guess it didn't go so hot for him. Yeah, he, uh, <sighs> he died and we buried him. And maybe a uh, day or two later, he came out to his hut and found his wife and poor young children dead as well, shredded to all hell. I knew it. <laughs> Strange, though. His, uh, his body was missing from the cemetery not long after that. Oh, is that right? He's mm. kind of scratching his head. Is this the cemetery north of Blackfield, by chance? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. <sighs> Hmm. I think I know where we may find our witch then. Uh, but, we've uh, been to the cemetery um, before, yeah. and we found cold. We found a cultist and a few zombies. They didn't have me with you then, did you? But, Mister Tolvin, what do you know of this Loray? And he says, "Uh, yeah, the old hag. I don't go out near where she's at. She, uh." She's done something funny to the woods out there, so I try to steer clear of it. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> might you point that out on this map, it, so we may avoid it as well? And he says, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. And points off over in uh, this direction. Tyler, like, looks at Moss in the way that says, like, you dirty little liar. He's rubbing his back and nodding along. He's like, oh, <laughs> yes, thank you, friend. Thank you, my friend. In this very different kind of way and he takes it in a he'll do a little pull, pulls out like a, a very bushy plant and does a little mark like thank you my good sir um we need to be going uh do you will you be safe on your own do you need anything else uh oh yeah uh sorry y'all uh, i found him dangling from plants so it's kind of crazy actually uh do you guys ever see like living plants around here that they're all over Feywild, but I haven't seen much since I've been around here. Don't think I think so. Ta I think Talia pointed something something like that out um, when we were on our way to um, Wintervale. About Did? like plant yeah, like plants in the area because you uh, want to uh, oh, yeah. you uh, knew something about like some weird vines that people get tangled up in and die. I think they may have been sentient. You mentioned uh, well, something like that. Yeah, that Make memory, but that. I seem yeah, to that remember sounds... that too. That sounds almost exactly like what I just killed, so... Oh, cool. Okay. I don't remember. It's been like a year, maybe longer in-game. Yeah, and, they're, uh, they're dead now, so... And, uh, Torvin says, uh, I should... I should probably be okay, as long as I, uh, avoid those vines now. I kind of know what to look for, but, uh... Absolutely, my uh, If you have any way of keeping in contact, please do. He says, sure, sure. I'm, uh, probably gonna be down at the Howling Caves for a couple of days. Uh, be careful of the werewolves out there, sir. He says, werewolves? Uh, yeah. We, a while back, uh, we were in Blackfield. Some hunter guy actually told us about werewolves in the Howling Caves. And he kind of looks around and he's like, 
I didn't think those were real. You've you've seen them? Moss. Moss oh yeah, they attacked us last night. That Moss yeah. pulls out a silver dagger and like kind of shows it to him. It's like, I wouldn't be carrying this for no reason, friend. I hope some of those artifacts you've got have some silver in them. And uh, at he the kinda, very least, you've got uh, company, someone to watch your back. He kind of like looks around the the hut and says, "Hmm. Well, I guess all of it starts to make sense now." Uh, you said there was a crossbow on the floor? No, uh, oh, just arrows. a uh, regular longbow. Oh, a longbow. Uh, with bolts? Or arrows, sorry. Uh, roll investigation. I help. By also looking for arrows, because Moss needs arrows. Sure. That's a solid zero. <laughs> you guys can just ask the people that have arrows. <laughs> Well, I, I don't need arrows. I need the arrows from the. I'm looking specifically for the arrows that came with this bow. Nat twenty. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, Moss, you do find a quiver of arrows uh, hanging uh, from I, a, a hook. If I take them and inspect one, are they prepared with silver? Or are they just normal arrows? Uh, roll investigation again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, damn. What are the fucking odds? Shut the Tell fuck me what up. What the fucking arrows are, Mike? Okay. <laughs> uh, the the uh, tips do seem to be silver. Yeah. Ah, bingo. Well, at the very least, it seemed that these men knew what they were doing. Is there any other kind least. of weaponry around here? I ask the party. Uh, roll I carry that twenty and scan the room. No. Damn it. I'm gonna roll some investigation. See if come there's on, any weapons in the room. Keep it going. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Close come enough. On. Twenty-one. Yeah, close enough. You call that um, a dub. We take those. Uh, so looking around, uh, you do find a uh, silvered short sword. There's a silver short sword here. Talia says. Oh, look at that. Um. Is anyone here use short swords by chance? I, well, I think could, I might. I'm not too good with them. I could use them in theory. If we're all not Me too keen too. on it. But I have enough weapons as it is. I think. I see in that case. Going with this. My small old halfling friend. And give him the silvered uh short sword to defend himself with so hopefully uh ease his nerves hmm. and he takes it from you and says oh thank you thank you i uh try to avoid fighting as much as i can but should the need arise i'd rather be ready for it but uh not for nothing friend uh you said you collect artifacts Is there any chance you have any on you perhaps for sale anything of Interesting, maybe high magic potency. I mouth the words, he collects artifacts to Moss. And he says, <laughs> and he says uh, well, I just came back out here from uh, selling off some of what I got before. Um, I haven't really found anything so far. Well, you don't have like a secret stash, something cool? Listen, man, I've got a lot of cool. <laughs> Listen, man. Moss like leans in. <laughs> and he says... No, I mean, unfortunately, I don't really keep much for myself. I do it purely as a monetary hobby. Talia, yeah. like, peeks out from behind Moss and looks at a pin in and says, Don't we have a witch to avoid? Uh, yes, of course. Certainly. Uh, we will be going in a very south <laughs> east. Yes, yeah, southeastern direction from here, my good sir. So we bid you a fond farewell, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. And, and we says, set well, off okay. north. Wait, wait, before we go, um, hey, you, uh, have you been in Blackfield recently? And he says, well, yes, it's uh, where I'm from. Um, oh. how's oh, the situation oh. there? You know, isn't the Baron, uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, Baron. The, Baron, the Baron's yeah. dead. Yeah, he died. <laughs> he shit. Mm. They went. No, he's not. To... I just saw him two days ago. Oh, God. What? Damn it. Uh, well, um. 
No Who mention of a me war. A you didn't notice that a few many soldiers disappeared from Blackfield? Well, sure, but we've learned not to question anything that uh, the Baron does. Well, I can tell you what happened to those soldiers. They went to Wintervale trying to invade it and failed. And the Baron, or at least someone who looked like the Baron, was there too, and that person died. I'd like to walk over to the wall of this hut and give it a solid punching in anger. <laughs> um, is this dude bullshitting? Uh, roll insight. 28. <laughs> Three nat oh, shut the oh, fuck up! What is three, wrong with you? you what is wizard. wrong with you? Um, no, it seems like he genuinely believes that he's the seen the Baron recently. Well, uh, <laughs> if anything, I do believe this is uh, a case of us needing to go faster. Um, yeah. The, the real question everyone's looking for the answer to, though, does 22 hit a wall? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do 12 damage. Uh, and the wood is so, like, waterlogged that your fist just bursts through the other side. <clears throat> mm. oh, I got these arrows. Um, now how it begins shaking. <laughs> Talia, dig it. Uh, yes. I don't quite have mine yet. Either of, either of you make use of these. And hold it up. he holds up the quiver of silvered arrows. Uh, yeah, we could use some. The long grove depression. Sure. And a crossbow. Yeah. And crossbow. Uh, How many uh, arrows are they? Well, you can't quite use these with a crossbow, but uh, okay. you just got a super cool crossbow that shoots arrows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was so that we will walk because I only have one more wild. Before, fuck that. before we set off, uh, Mr. Halfling, uh, have you been to the blacksmith in Blackfield recently? And yeah. And he says, oh, well, I'm not really much of a fighter, so I don't really ever need weapons. As far as I you, know, though, you ever... I'm still uh, working in a shop out there, though. That's good. That's, that's nice to know. Thank you. He says, sure, sure. <laughs> and then he's going to say, although I did hear something about a blacksmith from Blackfield <laughs> getting mauled by uh, something. Don't give him ideas. <laughs> You didn't hear about the blacksmith massacre that happened last week. <laughs> oh, no. no. Okay, uh, continuing. Uh, shall we be off then? Please. Sure. Let's just go avoid this witch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And right, by the way, sir, um, uh, be, care be wary of the Baron. That guy is. Uh, there's some really Shaden. weird stuff going on with. Shaden. Yeah, like, even worse than you might think. He Much says, worse. He says, oh, nonsense. The, the Baron is amazing. No, that is, is some nonsense, is good sir, but... What happened with is the racism? Is he, is he hard capping? <laughs> uh, roll insight. He's capping, bro. Uh, seems like he believes what he's saying. What, what exactly is so great about the Baron, if I could ask? Oh, What's well, he, so he, phenomenal about his leadership? He cares about all of us. He's trying to <coughs> get rid of the darkness that plagues these these lands. He he grows his crops for us. He helps out the poor. They sound what? like two very different people. That does not sound like the Baron we met. Not at all. And he says, hmm, well, I, I don't know. I, he's always been like that. Man. You are not immune to propaganda, huh? This may be a tale of two fronts here, but uh, I think for now, Mr. Tolvin, you have been of great help. Uh, do your best to uh, avoid the Howling Caves at night, at the very least, or when the moon is mostly full. And he says, sure, sure, I'll uh, keep an eye out. I uh, certainly don't want to get mauled by anything. I uh, yes, enjoy living a little too much. You and me both. <laughs> it's a good motto to have. Moss just kind of nods in approval. We're off. We're off. Then we go northeast. Northwest. Northwest, yeah. So uh, we, Moss starts walking. I don't know if anyone says anything, but he's walking. Talia follows. I do yeah. say something. I said, DEATHBRINGER! <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I melt the fuck up. <laughs> And uh, Deathbringer the third appears. It's the cluster of stars that oh. takes form. 
It's been a while. Death you know what, uh, actually? He seems a bit, uh, when? like he's rearing to go, like he's been cooped up for too long. Nice. Talia is going to polymorph into a raven again, and she sits down on Moss's shoulder. I'm not going to be your ride when I'm not in the shape, and he pushes you off. <laughs> I am not she sits your down slave, under madam. <laughs> She makes a really right. sad noise. Oh, you can't do that to me now. Like, <laughs> Little Miss Royal oh, High. Physically <laughs> abused a bird. Yeah, that's his only weakness. 100%. Like, fuck off. <laughs> Damn it, come here. <laughs> Puts you back on the fucking shoulder and walks with his arms crossed. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, we're at it. Hey, Tony, can uh, can we get the carpet? Can I get the carpet for me and Adrada? Right, uh, yep. Tony, if you could carry you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. I thought you were gonna say something like, Tony, can I no, ride I'm with you? I'm carrying Moss and Moss, Tony, if anything. And, uh, I would unfasten the carpet from my back and just say, you know the word, to yeah. avoid being launched off of Deathbringer. Abra. <laughs> Good Abra. <laughs> The same thing. Unfurls and like kicks <gasps> <laughs> And uh, the carpet unfurls. I'm just gonna sit on <laughs> the carpet and uh, yeah. They're not for me Wait, for... No one is walking except for Moss. Start, start get Moss and the bird. <laughs> and that fit on the I carpet. mean, Hadrada can also get in the carpet, and if there's enough space uh, space for Moss, then. Well, I think it's weight that's a problem with Moss. Yeah. Yeah. How heavy is Moss? <laughs> Very. Okay. I think like that one. Pounds. I think that one could hold four to five hundred pounds. I think, it was... I think. I think. I yeah. think. might have to ride with Deathbringer. The two tired people can ride Deathbringer. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'm riding Deathbringer with uh, Tony. No one we right, lift you up by the back of your collar onto the horse. Didn't we say <laughs> that Moss can uh, be on the carpet when only one other person is on it? Yeah. You. I know, so can you go on a carpet? Of a bird. uh, bird's like two pounds. What is like, your, that be what a... is your uh, weight, Moss? 300, uh, three, 350, I think. And how much is your weight, Jurgit? Uh, 175. Just Fuck. barely, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. The, the, the suspension, like, goes down when Moss is on the- on The suspension! The yeah, the magical wheels appear, and the suspension, like, <laughs> When- when Moss gets onto, like, the, um, carpet, because I'm- I'm assuming he's gonna sit, um, sit on the carpet, to tell you I, like, hops off, oh, and just- dramatically. <laughs> like one of your French girls ask. <laughs> and Talia's just gonna sit on his- sit on his stomach. Oh, yeah. Okay, very proud. Like a, he, very he happy. Like an extra fluffy moss net for, nest for you to see. Aww. It, it, it just looks like he's rubbing his belly, but it's like slowly moss grows underneath it. <gasps> she like hops, hops off his shoulder and then onto his stomach. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, something I gotta draw. Wait a second, I have a question. <laughs> oh God. Yes. Yeah. The fucking floor, so, disc, can I use control water to oh, take all the water from the swamp and then ride it like a skateboard? <laughs> or like all the wa water within range? Hadrada's gonna drain the swamp, guys. He's gonna pull it off. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, ping, ping control water. Since I oh, actually damn. went in and did my fucking damn, spells. <laughs> oh, damn. You can control oh, any yeah, freestanding yeah. water inside an area. It's within an area, so it'd only go 300 feet. When you cast a spell, you can repeat the effect or choose a different one. You can be Moses. You can create a Moses path for us. <laughs> so I feel like that is the important part, is that you can pick anything from this table. Yeah. So if what you're trying to do doesn't somehow... There is the wave one. Into this... That's an attack, though. Do you have one? Oh, is it... No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, never mind then. You could drown yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking so. jump off. But yeah, so I would say no. Okay, cool. I was just wondering. Cause... That would have been so funny, though. 
Yeah. <laughs> Waterboard behind Deathbringer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we set off. Okay. Yeah, so you guys make your way through the swamp and uh anything but walking. As a, at when when as however long it takes when we get within what I feel would be about three miles of that space, I would like to on the carpet begin ritual casting uh commune with nature. Okay. And, uh, and I guess I will ask for powerful any of those beings, influence from other planes or buildings. I only get to pick three within miles. Okay. Um, yes, you do sense a powerful fey, and you also pick up uh, a building of some sort. I'm assuming both of them in the same spot on the spot. Mm -hmm. A powerful fey. She's a fey. Hag, makes and sense. You know. Yeah, hag, yeah. Forgot hags are fey. Um, yeah, so Moss, like, kind of sits for a moment and, like, takes, uh, takes Talia, who's been, like, sleeping on his stomach on this nest he's made, and, like, very carefully lifts, lifts her up and puts her on top of Durga's head and, uh, like, br brush off mm -hmm. the... <laughs> and, uh, kind of, like, do a bit of cleanup and maintenance on all the moss and make himself look very, uh, prim and proper. Uh, What's going on, Moss? No. This is, uh... No. There, there seems to be that this Miss Loray uh, is a denizen oh, of my shit. home. A fae? Are yes. they called fae? Yes, oh. fae. A fae. Yeah, that's all okay. Kind of we're, we're, we're very showy, but we're not fancy. Do a they what? have a... A fae. Like me. A fae! Yeah, a fae. <laughs> <It's a hat. laughs> <laughs> Boss, you're a fae. Look, I'm not. It's difficult. I grew up. Tony looks a little bit upset wrong. by this. What's wrong with What's wrong with fae's? They're here. Moss <laughs> knocks on his head. Extra planar being. You know what? You're so much smarter than me, Moss. Yeah, listen, it's just so much easier than yelling. I know. Why are you upset? It's just my extra plane of beings. Tell Start moving planes. And... Plane no, beings. yes, but you've not been handing out magic powers like sweets. Not that, not that you know of. You don't fucking know that. Uh, ben <laughs> of is going to try and uh, use his awakened mind to listen to your conversation. <laughs> He's just going to keep pinging Tony like, Hey, what you doing? Hey, what you doing? Hey, what you doing? I swap Hadrata. <laughs> <laughs> fight, 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 fight. Boys, boys. I message Adrada, I could drop you off this horse at any moment, don't make me. <laughs> and I can make you more scared than you've ever been in your entire life. You will walk the rest of the way there, and we both know that's worse than anything you can do to me. <laughs> your legs are soup cans. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, the, gr the girls are fighting! Tony says that with a tiny bit of terror in his voice. <laughs> and Hardrota says, You don't want to be taking psychic damage now, do you? You don't want to be taking exhaustion damage now, do you? <laughs> you I'll will walk. One of you first, remember that. Uh, this is messaged. Oh, is it? Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> you could just see us staring very angrily at each other. <laughs> yeah. Moss just kind of leans over to Dirk. It's like. Are they gonna fuck or what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaning to us. I'm leaning to us. the tension from here. I'm leaning to us. Why would you ask me that out of all people? Because it's the most entertaining, because you have no idea what to answer. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I'm gonna be honest with you, it looks more like uh, Tony is going to Divine Smite uh, uh, Hadrada's skull, so he, you know, it, ex it explodes. I think That's you and what I looks both like to me. know that Hadrada's very into that. <laughs> Talia like Talia like falls out of the nest on Durgan's head when she hears that. Softly, softly roasting as he's like cleaning up all the moss and as they continue the journey to this mm -hmm. Ray's house. And now that I have the ping, uh, I would like to just kind of zero in on that if I can. Now that I know her location. Okay. Alright, so yeah, you uh begin following this ping and uh heading through uh, the swamp um you do get closer and the ping kind of it gets bigger 
as you get closer to it. Oh. And it seems like you're right on top of it, just about. At that point, I will kind of like hold up my hand, hoping everyone understands that to stop. I heal. Also, go ahead and uh, hop off and kind of like last minute brush up, cre clean up his lines, just in case this is someone that he has met before. Do I remember anyone in my past by the name Loray? Uh, roll history. Sure. Uh, can I guidance myself? Oh, sure. SD4. He said history. Atalia would uh, like to just fly next to Moss this whole time. It's not rolling for some reason. There it goes. Oh my god. Hey. What the fuck is wrong with you? My what the hey. fuck is wrong with you? That is the fourth one. We broke one. it with that the second the fourth roll. one today. That's the fourth hey. one today. Hex. 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 That is X. five. Five out of five. Five out of six rolls are not close. Fucking. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, actually? All right, everyone just hop in the backpack. I got it today. <laughs> We're rolling, we're cruising. Hey man, it's the luck of the dice. <laughs> Apparently, I mean, this makes up for my fucking like six nat ones last session. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> you're hot, sometimes you're not. Listen, they call me the wild card for a reason. Okay. <laughs> Never know what you're gonna fuck. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, but Very much thank you. I would say that you've only vaguely heard of her. I So I've just never, I've never had a personal experience? No. No, you, that's like, all I know. It's almost like when your friend talks about another friend that you've never met before. Like, of, yeah, totally, bro. Sounds kind sweet. of like that. Yeah. But wait, so Hearsome has known Lore? Um, maybe. Or just from someone else, like in passing, someone mentioned it. Type. Uh, I would say you probably don't think Hearsome himself, but just a, you know, another figure from your yeah, past. People in that posse. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so yeah, so Moss will just kind of straighten himself up, make sure he's nice. One and, thing that you do just... know is that she Ooh. hasn't been around the Feywild in a while. Like she kind of comes, a while. she kind of like comes back for a little bit and then leaves for even longer and then just. So, so but she is known to jump back and forth. Sporadically, yeah. Oh wow, okay, yeah, perfect. Um, okay, so yeah, Moss will can I take a cast... to straighten himself. Can I cast Disguise Self on myself? Sure. Uh, what are you trying to be today? Um, I am going to be... I'm going to look like a very fancy... Uh, what what, 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 what uh, species are you from um, our campaign? Tabaxi. Uh, I'm going to be a very fancy tabaxi. Okay. Very, you can't make yourself tabaxi. that much taller with this guy's self, yeah, though, can you? Can you? Foot uh, no, but I am going to be like a small tabaxi. Yeah, He's a puss in boots. A, a shorter tabaxi. He's puss in boots. He's Did you see of a show? <laughs> puss in boots. That's so good, Blue. That's so good. <laughs> um, Moss will just kind of yeah. like shake his head. It's like probably not best to lie to the person we're seeking help from, but sure. And Moss will turn and. Uh, approach the building that I guess is very close. Okay. Uh, Talia is going to uh, undo her polymorph now and uh, also just stay in her normal form. So uh, you begin walking uh, through the swamp towards where you believe the ping to be. and uh, I, I kind of wave Talia up next to me just to make sure I have, have them. Oh, yeah. right. She like dusts herself off because she saw that you were like also dusting yourself off a little bit and like... You know, make sure she looks good. Like called Spass to to her to her side and walks next to him. Moss will uh, drip <clears throat> off this uh, soft yellow flower and like poke it behind your ear, and then do another oh. one for Spass and poke it behind her. Hey, God, I love plants. you. Hey, 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 don't don't get weird. It's a flower. No. They like plants. Don't get weird. No, I I mean that in a friendly way. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. So, but... Moss, that that is Moss. Just being like, hey, stop it. Don't be weird about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Tali's like about to tear up. He's like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, no, get it together. Tali is like, decent, decent human decency. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally not a human, so it's just. Decent. You know what I fucking mean. Very offensive. <laughs> and, uh, Moss will turn and right. uh, with Talia slightly behind. So Moss is taking the lead, but making sure that they're there. 
uh, approach with the rest of the party, I hope, in tow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Slightly um, blind. <laughs> so, uh, you begin heading through the trees towards the direction of uh, where this tag is supposed to be. And uh, you, you're following, like, a smaller creek that seems to be coming from the direction that you're going. And you come through these last bit of trees to almost like a clearing. It's almost like a perfect circle uh, clearing within this ring of trees. And it seems like, it seems like a small island with water in it. And it's this almost like stump looking house, like a large stump looking house uh, being in this uh, island in this small body of water. And uh, as you begin to approach, you see coming from the side of the bank where you guys are to the front door is a rickety looking wooden bridge. And as you start to get up to it, you hear. <sighs> from where I go to the source of the hello. Uh, I look into the water before uh, I step onto the bridge. I take a step back, or three. You uh, look into the water. And you see, laying at the bottom with their snout sticking up, are uh, crocodiles. Ooh. Moss just kind of like leans in a bit. Uh, how long is this bridge? About 25 feet. Oh, Hell yeah! I, I uh, misty step across the bridge. Cool. Good for you. So yeah, uh, your guys' tokens are there. Nice. Whoosh. Where's my dog? in the house. You don't oh, need your cool. token, don't worry. <laughs> oh, that's I thought, true. Like, I mean, cool. he is on my token, I guess. <laughs> okay, this is much, uh, this is a different, uh, okay, yeah, never mind. And the water yeah, below you is about probably 15 feet below you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna spend yeah, the, the time to yeah, summon water. Sam. Oh, okay. How, how deep is your love? Is it like the ocean? No, how deep is that? <laughs> the lake one more time, sorry. Okay, so from the bridge where you are to the water line is about 15 feet, and the water itself looks to be about 20 feet deep. 20 feet deep, okay, so like, if, like, for example, a, a giant whale were to jump in, would it be able to move around? No. No, oh, bummer. All right, working on it. Those are crocodiles. <laughs> Yeah, these are about them. These are about like, you know, twelve. No, I know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> saying it just maybe not be a great idea to jump in. <laughs> but they are fifteen feet below you. Hello. Oh, hold on. Um, moss. Well, just slowly, as they start moving across the bridge, casting shape water underneath them, and just slowly freeze the water directly underneath the bridge and just turn it to ice and like ice take a step ice take a step ice take a step and it's like he'll do it a little bit just to test and see if they still like come at like so first he'll do it and see how they react so, so basically just... you're like making frozen stepping stones across the water across so it's like the the the, the bridge is all rickety and shit right and it's yeah. floating on the water no no it's not floating a on okay. the water it is connected from the bank to the front of the house and it is essentially like a suspension bridge got it and it's there's like 15 feet from us to water surface and then on what 20 feet did you say yeah the water is 20 feet deep, deep of water yeah and from the bottom of the bridge to the surface of the water is 15 feet i think that's the only watery thing i have today i have elemental bane but that's hmm. Um, I'm gonna just let Sam scupper across the bridge. Okay. Uh, yep, he scampers across nice. it, no problem. He's over there with Andrada. I'm also just kind of standing there and just kind of like, Hey, if you're so antsy, go ahead and knock. And then Hardrada will turn around and knock. Uh, and there is no answer from within. Sam sits on your shoulder. Sam gives you a shrug. 
What is Sam right now? Can I? I... It's probably a, a hall. Can I still sense the ping? Oh yeah. Yeah, is it still in the house? Mm-hmm. I'll call that. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Don't you think that's a bit rude? Uh, probably, but I know she's in there. Uh, can I use, um, knock? The spell to, like, open the door? <laughs> no, that's an actual spell? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. It's a wizard spell. You basically knock on the door and it pops open. Oh, well, it's that's cool. Um, can I use Eldritch Blast? No, um, can I just knock on it? Again. Sure. And say, uh, I'm sure you were expecting us. There's no answer really? from inside. Why would she have been expecting us? I don't know. She's face. She's probably got clairvoyance or something. So, um, head in hand, off wing, I guess. Kind of Boss will just room. kind of like slowly put a foot out onto the bridge. Does it feel like it would support him if he put his full weight on it? Yeah, yeah, it feels sturdy enough. You know? Yeah. Um, does it the connectors at the end? Do they look solid? Because he said it looked rickety. Like what? How fucked does this bridge look? Uh, for the most part, it looks okay. Uh, the wood slats are a bit old, and the uh, rope seems like it's been a bit weathered. But all in all, it's still sturdy. It's not missing any slats. There's no rips or tears at the ropes. Um. So small question. Hmm. Um, is any of the bridge damaged or like, um, does it just look like poor construction? I think, I th I think we're at the same idea, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it before you. I'm okay. gonna go ahead and cast mending. God damn it! <laughs> I was just about to jump in when you said that. Like, I'll mend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah I'll, I'll you ahead. said it before, man. Uh, mending. Uh, I'm trying to ping it, but it won't let me because I didn't on, add it to the uh, ship. Mending on what though? I'll just, like, on the bridge as I walk. So, like, as I step out, I'm trying it to, like... Mend the planks. Yeah. Mend the planks so, and, like, do subtle repair to... Just, like, it, even if it, it feels sturdy, I want to, like, make it even sturdier as I go, is the hope. Right. So, as you do this, there aren't any areas that are broken or cracked or anything like that. So... It's not so much like healing the wood to where it's brand new, yeah. but it would be healing any cuts or breaks or tears, which there aren't any. Can I druid craft and like kind of just like cover up the dirty wood then and like make it look prettier as I go? <laughs> sure. Nice. <laughs> yeah, just as I'm walking, just both hands on either side of the rope and just kind of leaving a trail of, uh, We'll do like like the bright Feywild colors, the bright cyans, and the magentas, and the purples, and the yellows. <laughs> and just like as he slowly steps out and keeps an eye on all the fucking what are the crocodiles, alligators, I don't know the things. Crocodiles, the ones in the water. Yeah, those are crocodiles. Yeah, the water alligators, those ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, and they are swimming around and definitely notice you up above i give one a firm nod it's kind of like how, how do you do sir as i continue walking and they just kind of watch as you do they're not really moving like towards you or anything but they're just kind of in their own little areas moving about i just kind of like in the like um keep attention on like the feel of the rope as i continue and uh i guess uh, without problem do i get up next to hydrata Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, Hardrada yeah. will try something. He's gonna use Mage Hand to knock on the door. What? What? what why would this change anything? I don't know. Maybe they're receptive to magic. That's not. It's just. It's still a knock. It's just from a magic thing. It'd be me knocking. Would be as magical as that knocking. Um. And as uh, it's as Moss approaches, uh, the door opens up. Oh God, damn it. Um, Talia just also starts making her way over the bridge. Hey guys, are we sure this is a good idea? I'm having second thoughts. I never think things are a good idea, if I'm honest, but... Mm. Moss will slowly <laughs> push past Hadrada. Hadrada will go in first. 
Moss will stop him from going if he tries. Uh, is Can Kalia go? Well, as soon as Moss gets in, the door slams shut. Uh. So the question is, does Hadrata get in before me? Because he tries to push past and I try to stop him. Uh, roll opposing strength check. So probably not. You gotta have faith in yourself. <laughs> Again! There it is. No. So Moss will grab you by the shoulder as you try to rush in. It's like, have a bit of patience, Hadrata. And they'll like, push you back and walk in. And I guess then as I step in, door slam shut. Okay. Can uh, I thunder over the door? No, you can't. Certainly rope bridge, Hadrada. Please consider what you are doing. <laughs> also, Talia is behind you. I have I'm scope a... spells. Um, yeah, no. no. Yeah. And uh, Moss goes to whispers. Before oh before Moss goes to whispers, I'd like to ask: Does this building have any windows? Uh, it does, but they are. Dusty and fogged over. Does that did have a chimney? Get, did I get a chance to look inside the house before um, uh, before Moss got in? Yeah, yeah, I would say you had a brief uh, look. I, I cast Clairvoyance inside the house. Uh, ping that. Uh, it is basically the same as scrying, I believe, except you can't interact with it. It takes 10 minutes to cast. Uh, it's it's uh, not only ritual, is it? It, no, casting, it, casting time, time 10, 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, it. Uh, I can still like cast in it after minutes. I see that place. I don't have to see yeah. the place to cast it. I just in, need to be in, familiar with in it. In 10 minutes, yes. Yeah, so in 10 minutes. Does this have a chimney? Uh, it does, yeah. Can there's, Sam fly in the chimney? There's currently smoke coming out of it. Sam will burn up in a fiery pit of flames in order to get me as much information as he can. <laughs> he will die he has like three hit points. Yeah. <laughs> but he's made of stars and he loves it, so... Tally how, Sam. Does he, though? What the fuck is wrong Does he, with though? people? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see? No. I've been saying this. I've been Sam saying this. Sam is an arcane being with no feelings of pain. He just likes helping. Does anyone else have any other sad attempts to try to peek in on my secret? <laughs> I'm just writing a dear diary today. I just want to make sure you're okay. <laughs> Alright. is I'm, the I'm not... one you need to worry about. Nice. Door is closed. Mike may I'm not whispers. spying because I'm respectful. Thank I'm not. Know. I'm just assuming Moss was instead was like literally died the moment the door closed. The door closes, Durgan's like, well, he's gone. <laughs> I like the three attempts at this. I'm not it's spying because I'm respectful. I'm spying because I'm respectful. I'm spying because I'm not respectful. <laughs> the duality of <laughs> The duality of man. Not they're not none of you are human. But, yeah. human. but they're I'm half men. Human. I'm half human. At some point during this, Sam will fly in through the chimney, burn up, and you can give me a, a brief, a, words. a brief few words on what he sees, I guess. Okay, uh, come to whispers then, tell me. Wait, what about my clairvoyance? Uh, it takes wait, ten okay, so minutes to cast. Ten minutes. <laughs> well, I'm assuming this would take over ten minutes. Well, yeah, you'll join you in ten minutes. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Start a timer for ten minutes. Okay, I'll start a timer for ten minutes. Okay. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Moss, you walk in, and uh, Tony, you send Sam in through the chimney, mm -hmm. and uh, as Sam is going down, uh, he hears, I've been expecting you, Machina Sylvan, and then he burns up and dies. Oh, then, ah! <laughs> Moss, as you walk in, you just hear that, and then steam behind in the fireplace, a bird hit it and flips, like, well, plunder out of flames. I imagine I can recognize your bird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, god damn it. Cool. Um, Moss. Thanks for that. I'm off now. Yeah, get the fuck out. Well, Miss Lorai and Hill, very presentry, right hand on stomach, left hand out, right foot back, bow. Very deeply. Hmm. I have come seeking your aid. And she gives a, a slight bow in return. He stands. And she says, yes, yes, I know. 
So tell me, why do you want to get back to the Feywild? So, uh, I'm not sure if you're entirely aware of what's been going on in just seems beyond your back door. This uh, Baron of Blackmoor, Blackfield, whatever. I'm not sure about this material plane. Its uh, names are very annoying. But she says, "I've heard whispers, but it hasn't affected me." Oh well, no, luckily not. Uh, me and my friends over there, um, trifling as they may be, uh, are rather poignant when it comes to getting rid of problems. Uh, are you aware of this Council of Thirteen? Circle of Thirteen, sorry. She says, I have knowledge of them. They have no threat to me and my sisters, however. They that know is... better than to trifle with us. Well, maybe not with you, but it does seem at the very least their conquest is to consume all these nagpas. But, regardless of your feelings about that, you ask my reasoning. Uh, me and my friends have slayed a member of this circle. Uh, a man either being the Baron or posing as the Baron. I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm really confused right now. But, again, that is of little concern to me. The squabblings of this material plane are rather dull. And, um, she says... The Circle of Thirteen, these Nagpas, they always fail in the end. This isn't the first time they've tried this. Well, it's... that is true, but, uh, we assume they fail because of, hopefully, people like my friends and I. I'd like to think so, at the very least. Ah, people that, you, uh, uh, fancy yourselves hero feel. Well, I mean, they were quite literally chanting that at us as we were flying away, so I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel it a little bit, yeah. At the very least, we're trying... I'm trying my best. I uh, can't say much for some of the others out there. I know most of them are, but some of their motives are questionable, I'll be honest. I know a few things about you and your friends. Some of them, heroes, they're not, I would say. I would certainly agree with that. So, you come here seeking my help to return to the Feywild. Indeed. In search of, uh, one of our forges of old. Uh, it seems the flames of the Feywild burn brighter than the ones here. So, hopefully we can take this phylactery born of this slain baron and member of the Circle, take it to the forge and destroy him once and for all. And she says, Phylactery, you say? Indeed. Oh, why don't you give it to somebody like me? Uh, I'm sure I could do something with it. I'm certain you could, but uh, it seems I've been tasked by a dear old friend of mine uh, with destroying it. I do apologize. And she kind of looks up, and it seems like her stature gets a little bit bigger, and she says, Now, now... I can definitely keep it safe at the very least for you. Moss holds his hand up. Madam, I do appreciate your offer and your concern, but unfortunately the phylactery is not even with me at this moment, so even if I wanted to, I could not. And she says, hmm. It is out of my hands at the moment. But well, perhaps another time. Of course, of course. There's always the future. There's always more deals to be made. Uh, but... As for me, personally, that is my, me and my friend's goals. You, you did ask for mine. I did. Um, are you aware of the Archfey here, Hmm, I am. Moss will reach into his bag of holding and pull out just the bow of, uh, Hearsome's veal of the living wood bow and just kind of like run it through across his fingers and like twist it and show it to her. It's like, uh, I have something that I need to return to him. He is a dear friend of mine, and I wish to get this back to him as soon as I can. And she says, hmm, interesting. Just a, a short trip then, is it? Well, that's the hope, but 
like I said, it's uh, my friends are also hoping for to travel as well. I'm I, uh, not quite uh, gifted enough yet, and I was hoping uh, you could offer your aid. I could get you there. Although, I don't think I could get you back. <laughs> That's disconcerting. Um, I'm sure I could work something out with here, so that's all right. As long as you can get us there, I'm sure we can figure it out. Well, uh, at your own peril, I suppose. Well, like I said, so, uh, I made a promise to a friend. Yes. So, you come, uh, seeking my help, but, um, what exactly do you have in exchange? Well, that is, uh, why I hope we could... I had I would grant the granted the honor of speaking to you. Um I, I have no like I said, need you. of coin or gold if that's where you're going to go with. No, no, of course not. Madam Moss chuckles to himself, not something the party had ever probably heard previously. Uh, we of the Fey Wild do not deal in coin. I I I've been gone for a while. I've not been gone that long. But we do do well in favors. And if you says, have any problems that you may dealt with, someone, uh, maybe a thorn in your side. And she you says, happy to that. Mm, no, no favors. I already have too many favors to call in. What else Perhaps. do you have to offer? Hmm. Moss will reach into his inventory and start digging. And she kind of looks like, you know, like kind of a sideways sort of yes. look to see what you're kind of going through. Like, you see. There's the bag of holding, so there's not like a lot in there physically. But he's just kind of like, he's got the hand in there and he, um... Okay. He will slowly reach in and pull out the ancient black dragon horn uh, from the slain dragon and like a very very long ebony hole I was reading the address, yeah um, uh, yeah it's the long ebony black horn that I uh, salvaged off of the dragon and she looks at it and says hmm that is a rare find but I have happy. plenty of dragon horn, and kind of points over, and there's like a basket with a, probably at least like four to five dragon horns in it. Is there a basket next to it with dragon teeth as well? Um, no. No. You don't then, see uh, dragon teeth like immediately in the area. Then he will reach in and pull out and like, kind of like holding up one, and then like card trick it was secretly too the whole time. Uh. Specifically, dragon canines. I'm not sure if those were like specifically longer, but I remember you specifically had you marked them as canine. Two large black dragon canines. Hadrada, come in. Okay. Oh. Lori is uh, overlooking the the uh, dragon canines that uh, you hand over to her, and she says, "Hmm, interesting." They're not too uncommon. I still have a few myself. And hand them back over to you. True, and, uh, but both in pair still. Granted, you might have some, but it can certainly add to your stock at the very least. This must be worth something. Hold on, let me keep searching, and I'll, I'll go and keep pilfering through his bag. And she says, Find something good now. I don't want anything cheap. I need something meaningful, something, something you love. Just kind of stops for a second. And she kind of looks up to the right corner of the room and says, hmm, your friends think they can spy on us. Uh, Moss just kind of like look around the room. I, I don't. I think I see anything. And she says, Yes, the little dwarf outside. 
I see you, little man. Can you uh, point me at it, please? Yeah, and she points out to the corner, the top corner of the room behind you. Adrada, no spawning, please. And I will cast Dispel Magic on that target that she pointed me at. Okay. Thinking uh, that. And uh, the orb dispels, and Adrada loses his uh, view on the room and what's going on inside. Got it. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, Hadrada. Got him. I hope I hope he goes and watches this video. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I, I, I will leave that in just in the case that he does. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, so she continues watching you uh, go through your bag. Uh, and Moss will. And she says, uh, slowly close the bag. And she says, "What about Pearson's veal?" Madam, that it's a is a very fine instrument. That is true, but it is also my charge to return it to him. I cannot be giving that away. But, and I, I understand. That is respectable. Uh, if I may, it may not be what you are expecting, but, and I, re I really don't want to give this away. Uh, why is it kind of something? Um. I'm torn. I'm so torn on which one I want to give. Maybe both? Okay. He will first take off the necklace around uh, the Chimera amulet, the very first magic item that the party ever gave to him, and the thing that basically let him live in the world. And uh, she and looks then, at it in your hand and says, Hmm, that is quite oh, powerful. Indeed it is. But, if I may... And he will reach up and grab the dark, large, dark green cloak uh, that is always adorned on his back and pull that off as well. Now, the enchantment on this isn't as flashy, maybe, but this this also has strong meaning. Now, I'm not sure it has which worth to you, and he holds up both, but if you're willing, Take a pick. Either would be a grand loss for me, if I'm honest, and I can't quite decide. And, like, his voice is kind of shaking a bit. And, uh, she kind of looks at both and, uh, goes and reaches for the cloak, and then stops and kind of... <laughs> and reaches and takes the amulet and says, I okay. know it good few many people who might have some fun with this this no. transaction is accepted you will guarantee me and my friends safe passage to the Feywild only to it that's all we require at the very least all I require may we have a couple days to go retrieve our charge and return she says, yes. Perhaps you have a scroll. Um, a, a scroll? Yeah, 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 he's just like, M maybe you could just, like, give us a scroll and we could take it with us. Uh, a scroll for what? Uh, whatever spell she has to teleport to the Feywild. <laughs> he's just fishing for it, man. He's oh. trying to, yeah, to see, like, maybe I don't have to come back and see your ugly ass again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, and as you do that, she just kind of... <laughs> no, I'm afraid the source of my power is here. You'll have to come visit me again. <laughs> of course, Laura. I, I would wish for nothing more. Um, if I may. And he swirls his cloak back onto himself. Uh, I will be on my way then. We will return in, hopefully, a few days, three to four, perhaps, depending on how fast I can move. And uh, she says, sli safe slightly travels. less fast now, I imagine. Be sure to tell your friends if they need anything, anything at all. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just come see me. Of course, you have a wonderful evening, madam. Safe travels. 
can be quite dangerous out there. <laughs> I do not like that laugh as he walks out the door. <laughs> and uh, the door kind of magically closes itself behind you. Not like slam or anything, but just... So? I fucker? Left, uh, and I left you a see, message uh, for Corrin in the episode. You see, I, I hope he knows that. <laughs> uh, you see uh, Moss emerge back out from the hut. Taya runs to him. Oh. I'm crossing out the thing I wrote in the diary. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big X. <laughs> Uh, Talia having a pretty good passive perception as Moss walks out. Uh, you will notice a very distinct amulet missing from around his neck. What he's happened? Kinda, he's kind of like scratching where it was. Uh, what happened? Nothing of, nothing of consequence. Uh, I have secured us passage, but uh, I believe there is a bit of a discrepancy. Where's your amulet? Uh, she can guarantee us passage there, but not passage back. Oh. No. What? Uh, I, hold on. Tyler. Tony calling <laughs> from the other side of the bridge, yeah. still a bit worried about its rickiness. <laughs> let us uh, rejoin the rest of the party, yes. As I much discussed. Right. Okay. So yeah. Uh, he's, he's like freshly buttoning the... Uh, the cloak around his neck as well. Like he had just taken it off when he's putting it back. Which he has never taken it off as long as you've seen him since he put it on. He does not get undressed because he doesn't sleep. So I guess we cross the bridge again to go through the rest of the party? Because that's yes. what Talia does. And as Moss is walking past Tadrata, he's kind of leans out. He's not here, I assume. But he leans down and whispers in his ears, Don't fuck with me. Pardrado immediately will thunder wave him. No, I'm just kidding. Good luck. Stop <laughs> doing that. Good Stop luck. doing that. You won't win that fight. It... Actually, you know what? Hardrada is going to thunder wave Moss. No, you're not. I'll do it. I dare you. No, dare you're you. not going to. No, Why? no, I'll you're not. You're not. Pixel. You're not. Whoosh. If you're going to do it, then do okay, it. Okay, he's serious about it. He'll die. It's not going to be like a very heavy thunder wave. Just something to know. Uh, you're on you. a rickety bridge. I'm going to use the gulp spell so I don't hit anyone else. Uh, roll a con save, Moss. Rolling it. Con save. There it goes. Did you me. fail, so you get launched into the river, or uh, depending on where you're standing, back onto the bridge or wherever, and um, you take 14 damage. 14 damage. Uh, that, hello, I'm gonna run down here. Uh, where would you have been on the bridge? I would have been right I'm assuming that him. they'd be near the door like I am. I, I slam it, I assume it probably pushed me back into the building. But even if it throws me off, I, I would wild shape. Okay, uh, into what? Uh, bunch of bottle. Okay. Giant bird. I will then grapple Hydrata. Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I can use uh, acrobatics or athletics to resist this, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Seems to be good. Ah, uh, it's... nah. I'll luck it. Nah, damn. Nice one. Hardrata escapes your grasp. Okay. Hello. He'll stand there flying right next to you, staring at you. Hardrada will then use... No, he won't. I've got a reaction. I'm punching you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so good. That does not hit. I can make three attacks. That hits. So I hey, bop you for seven. Here's a divine smite. Yeah. Should we get involved? No. Fuck this. I'm getting involved in the kind of shit. Uh, should we go? Or should we just wait it out? Bop, and then I'm a Our grapple. Our will then use... Uh, no, yeah, well, I won't. I've got a bonus action grapple. Yeah, so but I can do this in response to any attack, so... Oh, cool. I'm I going to use Hellish think... Rebuke. Yeah, I don't think the heck would like if uh, we fight on the front of her door. Should we go? At least a little bit. I stopped the call. Yeah, you know what? Uh, you have to make a DC 16 dexterity save. Absolutely. 
after this, those who are nice. fighting will initiate. You take uh, 34 damage. Cool. Uh, picking up Adrada by the neck, I look in his eyes. What the fuck I are you still, doing? I still. Uh, oh, well, I wouldn't be able to resist that anyway, so. Unless I got a nat 20. Like said, initiative. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm conversing can... with Adrada. I didn't select my token, but I got a 20. Uh, one. Or 20.17, sorry. Um, upon succeeding the grapple check with Adrada, uh, turn it would like, what are you doing? Right now? No, yeah, but I'm, I, as part of that, I would like to okay, ask okay. a question as a roleplay thing. Yeah. Okay, and Hardrada will, like, with tears in his eyes, say, uh, hurting this fucker, I guess. I don't know. What's a good line? You're the one saying it, man. Okay. <laughs> um, he will say, do, Why are you doing this? Is getting revenge. Asking. For what? And he just, like, looks away from you. He showed me kindness. He did it wrong. <laughs> I'd like to message Moss. Is there something I don't know here? No, I'm just as confused as you are. He's being a fucking creep and then attacked me when I told him not to fuck with me. I was just trying to get him out from over the fucking water before he kills himself. He seems dead set on killing me for some reason. I don't like the guy, but Jesus. Like, we're still friends. Uh, that we can earn a shadow order, if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Moss would be first, then Hardrana, then. If, if Tony. Tony has. All if of you Tony get has the feeling you're being watched, too, by the way. Yeah. Ah, I see. I'm always Moss being watched. Moss is <laughs> seeing, like, Hadrana grappled and situations handled. He's going to get out from over the fucking water. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's probably so just goal. thrown off crazy. Okay. I got uh, it. Hadrada, what are you doing? Okay, so uh, Hadrada is going to um, use Misty Step. Can I use that? Well, I'm grappled. Uh, does it have. It requires somatic. Yeah. No, it actually only requires verbal. And yeah, you could. And yeah, you can do that. Okay, so I'll Misty Step. Across the bridge again. Can I? I can't opportunity attack, can I? No. no, that's a feat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's me only having first level spell slots. Okay. Also, uh, just looking at you flying, confused. Is that your uh, I don't believe. Or Misty Step is a bonus action, so. Um, you can only cast I, a cantrip. Yeah, so I'm going to cast Firebolt at Moss to try and catch him on fire or something. I, I, I don't know. I'm made of metal. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Well. For reference, I am also made of metal. <laughs> 18. It would, it would just, like, it would singe the metal. Or the, uh, yeah, probably. Moss off and and like Moss doesn't him. even, he doesn't try to dodge. He lets it hit him. Okay. 19 fire. Sits there, still bird. The moss singes off. I don't think that. I think when it goes into the the animal form, all the moss is gone. It's just sheer metal. Mm. Uh, okay. Very like very different vibe. Like he tries to not be all metal for a very specific reason. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, you're up. Hi. I'm looking at my stuff. Hold on. You are a. I think you're an action. Um, I'll expeditious retreat over here, hi. Hi. Hey. Um, I don't know. I, uh, I'm a, I don't want to stab him over, right away, because stabbing is, like, very lethal, kind Moss, of. Moss is very specifically confused and not fighting. Yeah. He, he's, like, combative to, like, be defensive, but he's not My fighting. My goal is to, uh... Non-lethal damage. Yeah. That jab does not hit. Not murder. That I'm does. going to use shield to make that not hit. Oh, fuck. Uh, in that uh, case, okay. I will. As long as this is going on. To hellish rebuke. Uh, as long as this is going on, uh, Hadrada, you do hear the Baron's voice in your head saying, Good. <laughs> That's good. Um, do I. 
Okay, I might do a thing, but I need to check what this takes first, if it's an action or a bonus action. Da da da. Ooh, it's a bonus action. I'm gonna appeal as athlete uh, to get advantage on strength checks. Okay. Um, and end my turn here. Okay. Uh, Moss, you're up. Moss will fly 160 feet straight into the air. Okay. Uh, and Moss shoots up into the air. Uh, is that your turn? Yep. Double move straight up. Hardrado will um, use not fear. Um, probably uh, hideous laughter on Tony. Okay. Oh, I don't have that written down. Uh, what? What? Um, is it a charisma save or a wisdom save? Uh, it's wisdom. I believe. Uh, oh, fourteen. Yeah, wisdom, and that does not succeed, so you fall down laughing. For <laughs> that's a, that's uh, a funny image. Uh, and I can remake that on my turn, right? Uh, I believe so. Let me check. Yeah. Uh, um, I can't ping it, but uh, I'll, I'll check. Don't worry. Uh, here, I can uh, just send it in chat. No, thank you. Um, at the end of its, its turn, and each time it takes damage, they can make another wisdom saving throw. At the end of each of their turns. Cool. And I'm going to run into the forest as far as I can. Um. How far is that? Oh yeah, I'm incapacitated. Cool. I'll see you the whole time. I don't think you can roll high enough stuff to hide from him. Okay. Uh, so you're running into the forest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, yep. In Mossy, where Durgit and uh. Uh, Talia flew off to. Roll perception. That's my wisdom, not perception. Really. 18. Um, passive 22, though. Uh, as the Hello. two... Hi. Um, as the two of you are walking away from all this, are you trying to be stealthy at all? No, we want to be no. found because uh, after afterwards, uh, like we want to be found so they can like so they can find us, but we don't just don't want to watch this stuff. Okay, got it. Um, yeah, yeah, you do see them. There. They're a little ways up the road from uh, where you're at. Yeah, I can see them. Or from where, you know, everything's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so first I'll double move back down to Tony, and make sure he's okay, and try to get him up. <laughs> yeah, and I just kind of like smack him with my wing, and give him some pats, <laughs> try to wake him up. Try to make another wisdom check as being smacked with the wing. Uh, yeah, uh, you would t make another check. Nice. Uh, it's 19. only if you take damage, though. I hit oh, yeah, he just with my slapped me. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> and he uh, dodge that and does succeed, yes. Nice. <laughs> oh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, oh, yeah, what? Yeah, I mentally... Yeah, what? He's running in the woods. I'm not sure why. We should probably the get woods. the others and try to find him. Yeah? Okay. This is strange. Get on. And I hop on. And speed over to the others. Okay. So I, I, so I fill in blue on everything that he was saying and talking about murdering me for some reason. And then, like, tell that to the others, yeah? Uh, yeah. And I go and zoom us over to Pixel and Squirrel. Or, sorry, Talia and Target on <laughs> the, the carpet. Hi. Uh, come on back. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I go to Whispers now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Durgit and, uh, Talia, you see moss, like, flying through the sky, coming towards you. Very quickly. Okay. Okay. Lands very hard, and Tony's on his back, very majestic. And, uh, Tony, a little less majestic. And, uh, no Hadrada. Where's Hadrada? He also, what the ran fuck off into happened? the woods, I said, as I get off moss's back. Okay, oh, can you give shame. me a quick rundown what happened? Like, what caused this shit? Like, Hadrada wouldn't just randomly attack people, he's over that. And even then, he was smarter. He said it was for revenge of some kind. Yeah, fucking Bit revenge. more detail. That's all he told me. I looked to Moss. I, I would be flying up at that point, trying to keep an eye on him. Mm hmm. 
Uh, message Moss, anything you want to say? Just fill them in. I'm gonna keep trying to find the little bastard. No, yeah, he... He, like, tried to kill him and said that it was... He was trying to get revenge, like, tried to restrain him. Revenge him for what? He shot him with a fireball. He didn't say it. He, I, I said, why are you doing this? He says... For revenge. To hurt me for some reason. To hurt him. Yeah, but I had... I it saw Moss happen. leaning down. It was... What did what what caused this shit? Like, oh yeah, he was being a fucker, and I told him not to fuck with me, and then he oh. attacked me. He was being a he was being a fucker. Apparently, what does being a fucker mean? I mean, we saw spell, I, he was causing oh. he was yeah, he was casting a spell. Him. I tried to stop him earlier, but he they and, yeah, he was trying to spy on him. You're respectful. Once told him don't Can spy I on him. On from where I am with my twenty-two perception. I mean, obviously, Hadrada um, wants so to spy on. Well, no, that's my passive, but yeah. 30. Or, do I see another 30? What's wrong with you? Plus 12 is what's wrong with me. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I would say that you see him. <laughs> yeah, okay, as long as I can keep an eye on him, it's like, should I go grab him or should I pick you all up? Should he go get him? He no. can't just let him run off into the woods on his own, can we? I mean, that would pro- like, trying to forcefully get him would probably just aggravate him more. We should probably literally talk the shit out. Also, I, if Moss insulted Hadrada first, then I can kind of understand. No, this Hadrata. this isn't this isn't Hadrada oh. attacking him because he was insulted. This is like a long kind of anger. This isn't like a comment that made him like snap. Oh, um, it seems to be a comment that made him snap. I'm not not shifting the blame on you, Moss. It's like... That's exactly what you just did. But thank you. <laughs> he says to Tony head Tony's head. Uh, he said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk this shit out. I'm not one for needless fighting. Uh, I'm going to yeah, go ahead either. and give myself. Oh, Jesus, that's fucking god awful rules. But give myself that health back, and then uh, I guess I'll fly down to the others. Oh, yeah, me too. Um, I'd like to stop bleeding. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you both with a level. I'm down. Uh, I just have Q. Uh, I can I can perfect heal myself with all my lay on hands if you want to save spell slots. I'm just down okay. 15, so if you give me like a level two, that'd be sick. Uh, well, yeah, okay, cool. That. I'll give you a level two uh, then. Here. Yes. I have cool. an eye on him. Remember, I have a thirty perception. Mm -hmm. right. Hey, so where are you going in the woods? Uh, I am trying to get to. Um, let me check the map real quick. Uh, so where is somewhere close? Uh, oh, here it is. There we go. Um, so we're at the old camp site. I'm going to try and get to the... I ran this way. So I'm going to try and get to the Howling Caves. Either of the entrances, whichever one would take less time. I'd say the one on the left side is probably a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Alright, well now, could you... Uh, no, nah, probably the one on the right would probably be closer. Mm hmm Makes sense. Okay, so you're heading that way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll a self for me. Okay, then. Uh, Hydrata... Whoops. Hydrata... Uh, let's do a little stealth. Actually, I do still have one... No, I don't. Never mind. <laughs> I've used all of my spell slots there. Um... Uh, I'm going to, uh, do stealth then. Because I cannot do other things. Where did that roll on? A 14 plus 4, 17. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you begin heading off towards uh, where, you, where you are pretty sure the uh, Howling Caves are. Uh, coming mm -hmm. from where you are. It'd probably take a good... 45 minutes or so to get there. Mm hmm. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you make your way over there and you get to the entrance. And uh, it seems to be more of a uh, large cliff sort of face with uh, almost vertical chasm going down inside of it. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try, try my best 
to like find somewhere so you said it's like a vertical chasm so like something you climb down right um not like it's not like completely vertical but it is at a very steep angle going down mm -hmm. so you could like so um you could go down it but it'd probably be better to like you know crab walk down it or something like stay low to the ground yeah uh i'm going to um then uh hook my grappling hook onto whatever i can at the top and then try climbing down and staying low to the ground okay uh roll for your um for your grappling hook okay and hook all right 18. okay yeah uh that's enough to get it to stick into something at the top of the uh the cliff face that feels sturdy mm. Mm. Um, so you're uh, climbing down into it? Yeah. Okay, so roll a dexterity check at an advantage. That'll be a 13. 13, okay. Um, yeah, that's enough to get down uh, the, the inclined entrance like safely. Mm -hmm. You couldn't see it, but I was doing like a little thumbs up. Um... <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah. You're now in, like, a big, like, open chamber. Like, a natural cave. It's not, like, a, like, built-in rooms or anything. It's, like, a naturally <laughs> occurred cave. Um, hold on real quick. I will hop back. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hey. Hello. Alright, so... With uh, Moss's perception, you see Hadrada start heading off to the south east of where you guys are. Hmm. So where we came? Or I oh. guess uh, the southwest, like more southwest. Like down towards the observatory? Going that direction, yeah. So Moss will seeing the direction, swoop down to the others, message, knock on his head, connect message to Tony. Mm -hmm. Tony, Tony gives speakerphone to Moss. Um, seems like he's heading towards that strange observatory. Seems like he's heading towards that strange observatory. <laughs> <laughs> he's got little legs, he can't get very far. We'll he's got little soon. legs, he can't get very far, we'll catch up soon. <laughs> his, his, his accent's just a little bit higher pitched than usual. <laughs> Okay, no. let's no, no, let's go get him, or something Wing like down. that. Okay. Wing down. So, uh, hop on. You hop on a yeah, moss and hop on. Hop take, on. and take flight to uh, begin following Hadrada. And uh, as you do, um, you see him walking to the southwest and come to the opening of a set of caves and use his grappling gun to like latch on and then rappel down inside of the cave. Oh, it's like a floor cave. Sort of, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, how big is the opening of the cave? About 25 feet in diameter. Big enough for me. I'll fly in. Okay. Um, I'm big. I'm not that big. So, yeah, you fly down into it, and the room itself is pretty large, and it's a natural cave room. Uh, it has, like, stalactites and stalagmites hanging around. And, um, you see Hadrada there standing in the first chamber. Come on back. Okay, hello. Uh, Hadrada, all of a sudden, uh, Moss's bird form, like, comes down the main tunnel of the cave. And, uh, Moss is there with the rest of the group on his back. He stays floating in the air, flapping. Roll the 30 on his perception. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see that. <laughs> uh, I guess if there's no reaction, he'll land and let the others off and just kind of stand at the back quietly. Uh, and I guess I'll get off. Yeah, same. Like <laughs> slowly hand up. I thought you'd draw the like And uh, that's where we'll go ahead and end it. Uh oh. That's <laughs> a good. That's a good cliffhanger to end on. That's the biggest cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs>